We're at the Mile High Shooting Accessories booth at SHOT Show talking with Juan Lopez. Now you head up the new uh, Mill LEO division Correct. of the business, is that right? right? Tell us yeah. more. So uh, we, we've had a law enforcement military division for a while now. Part of that expanding line is that we're now doing a training group. As part of that, uh, we're tailoring our training around the customer, whether it be law enforcement, military, or civilians. Um, we have some uh, people that are on staff now that came from special operations community, and we're able to tailor that training around the needs of the customer, whatever that would be, and go to their location. Okay, so you know, with that background, they would be very familiar with kind of the training requirements, training needs of military and law enforcement. Absolutely, yeah. The guys that we have on staff are phenomenal guys. They're all guys that have real world experience, bring a wealth of knowledge. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great partnership. Now, you can also sell a ton of Accuracy International, Thunder we Beast do. Arms, that sort of thing. If there's a need there, you would be able to provide right. them with, with, with that. Absolutely. So, we are the exclusive law enforcement distributor for Accuracy International in the United States. We're also proud to announce that we're the exclusive law enforcement distributor for Thunder Beast Arms in the United States as well. We do a ton of business with Spur Mounts, as everybody knows, uh, Night Force Scopes, Schmidt and Bender, all that stuff. So yeah, we have some really good partnerships to give the guys out there in the field the tools that they need. So yeah, call us directly. We offer a discount incentive program to you guys. Um, so yeah, we're happy to do that. Now, the other news for 2017 is the business is going on the custom gunsmithing side. Why don't we go now to Ed and he'll have more information there. Hi, we're back here with uh, Logan Schmidt. So tell us a bit about your custom gunsmithing. Sure. Uh, well, we've been doing it for some time, but uh, we're really starting to promote our in-house custom builds. Uh, we're able to keep our lead times uh, quite low by stocking all these different components. What would, Roughly what sort of lead times are we looking at? Uh, well, we're hoping to keep that down around uh, six weeks to two months, as oh, long wow. as we have parts in stock. Yep. So these are examples of, of some of your uh, uh, custom uh, gunsmithing products, correct? Yes, sir, definitely. Uh, this is just kind of a cross-section of some of the possibilities that are available, and uh, but really it's dictated by the customer, and we're uh, willing to work with them on any different possibilities that they are well, interested we'll, in. So, uh, apologies for talking over you there, but uh, let's look at uh, some of the examples that, that might be relevant to the uh, PRS-style uh, shooter. Sure, sure. Um, something like this uh, with a kind of a crossover style stock. This is a Manners TA with a Tactical Elite uh, carbon fiber shell. Uh, Defiance uh, Deviant Tactical Action. This one happens to be ion bonded, giving a nice uh, slick finish there. Um, 65 Creedmoor is definitely, definitely very popular in the PRS game these days. Um, so. Um, we can do this in a proof barrel as well as uh, in a standard Bartline Sendero style contour would certainly be uh, a very popular choice. That's nice and smooth. And, and what sort of triggers are you using? Uh, that one I believe has an, that one has an Extreme Machine, um, Extreme Shooting Products, uh, Mod 22 uh, trigger, two stage in that particular setup. That is a nice trigger. So let's take a look at uh, some of the other options. Sure. So what do we have right here? Uh, that is a 300 Norma uh, on a Surgeon XL. So um, a lot of, a lot of people the, talking about the 300 Norma. Yes, it's uh, definitely gaining popularity here recently. Uh, that one's definitely set up more for long range, um, kind of bench work. Um, yeah. And this seems like a, a very nice uh, traditional build here on uh, AICS. Exactly. Yep. Um, built on a AT. Uh, this one is a 308 uh, Sendero, 20-inch barrel. Um, so that would probably make a nice uh, law enforcement exactly, rig. Exactly. I, yep. I, I would think. Yep. I would think. Exactly. And then right here, probably something maybe more for the long-range competitor. Uh, it, yeah, it definitely has uh, application to that. Uh, it's a 24-inch 65 Creedmoor in uh, AX. There you go. Yep. Again, Deviant Tactical, very popular action. Yeah, it's a nice chassis. I mean, Steve's had really good luck um, shooting some of his rifles in, in an AX chassis. 
definitely a solid choice for sure. So you've got a lot of a lot of options here. Anything else that, that you'd want to point out for the uh, long range shooter? Maybe we've got something down here. Uh, we have a, a Mark 13 as well as a 28 nozzler down there in the very bottom. Mark 13 obviously is a kind of a clone of a, or a military 300 Win Mag. Yep, it's really nice. AI chassis. Yeah. So it's really nice. Boy, those triggers are really nice. Yep, exactly. That's another uh, Extreme Shooting Products Mark 13 trigger. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, the, the possibilities are, are limitless. But, exactly. I mean, you know, hopefully this will give uh, the folks a, a good idea of, of what you all are, are capable of. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, and so, Logan, we appreciate you spending time with us. And best of luck at uh, SHOT Show 2017. Thank you very much.